Paul, how would you assess that defeat today? Yeah, uh, one that hurts me actually, one that hurts me. Uh, I think because we were off the pace of it first half, um, lucky to go in level. There was so much we needed to put right and we needed a big response and we needed a lot, a lot of uh, sacrifice and energy injected into the team in the second half and we did it and we, we wrestled control the game. We were on top. I think their crowd had turned and everyone could see it. And so for us to um, give the game to Millwall, yeah, it's so disappointing. What prevented you from getting a foothold in the game earlier? You know, they start, they get a, a chance very early, a goal very early. <coughs> yeah, they were on top. They, they, they were quicker to every ball. We looked like that team that had played Wednesday night. We looked like that team that travelled and still in his beds in the hotel. That's what we looked like. Um, yeah, so they were first to every ball, just played direct. Then they dropped on the second balls, and, and when we did withstand that, because we we had to withstand it, you know, um, we were still rushed with the ball and didn't hurt them. So, yeah, we had to be uh, we had to make a lot of changes, a lot of changes in the second half, and we did it. And that, that's what hurts because that's difficult to do, to uh, wrestle momentum back in a game where, in my eyes, we were we were nowhere near how we want to play in the first half. Um, so we've done that. We've done the hard work. Is it especially tough to take because I guess when you get the two equalisers, when you're actually watching the game, you're thinking you've got a chance to go on and win this now. But they they kept coming back, didn't they? Millwall. We give them. And this is my thing. I think with me, I'm going to watch the game and you reflect on how you speak and how you do with the players as well. And so we had to go after them and we needed a response second half. But with that, did we lose that little bit of composure? Because we we get back to two, we take a quick free kick. There's no need. I think the second goal, we should bring him down on the halfway line. A couple of silly fouls. So do we lose that composure? Uh, you know. Um, we'll see, but even to, to the, the third goal is uh, they get free kick in their half, and they have more men than us around our box, and we know they're going long to Cooper. So yeah, that that's the frustrating bit. You know, that's the frustrating bit. So yeah, we did have to inject uh, some energy into the game and take risks and be more aggressive and on the front foot, but not at the expense of doing the, the correct things. How disappointing is the manner of the goals? Because even though Bradshaw's played very well today, they all seemed very avoidable. <coughs> well, the second one, I can't remember the first one too much. The second one, I think we should make a foul on the halfway line. The third one, yeah, definitely. Got back in the game, it's 2-2. Two -two. We know where Millwall put the ball. They're going to put it straight on Cooper's head. And there's four Millwall players there and only three of us. So, How do you rectify that? Because, you know, it's, it's not panic station or anything, but it, I suppose it is six goals in, in two games. That's easy to rectify. It's a mistake. We don't do that. Um, that's easy. That's no problem. It costs us a game. Uh, yeah. It's not us, but we can't just brush it under the cat. We know we're, we're very good defensively. It's helped us win games. It's helped us win games when we've not been as good as that. You know, with the ball, without the ball, we're strong and we can keep clean sheets. Uh, yeah, so, but we can't just think, oh, it's not us, we'll be better the next game. Because, yeah, we were, we, uh, yeah, the frustrating thing is we just gave, I feel like we gave no all that. What's the message right now? Just because it's the first time in a long time that you've had a couple of defeats and it just presents that bit of a challenge. So what do you say to, to the players at a time like this? We'll be better. We're preparing for another game straight away. That's a good thing about this league. Listen, we've never changed our approach and now we are. Uh, I keep saying it externally, that happens with the questions you get asked, what the media say about games, our results, but our approach doesn't change, you know. Uh, we, we bothered about what we want to do and, and how we do it. So what do we do well, what do we need to be better at? Um, and that doesn't change if we won. If we won, you don't ask me that question, but we still do the same process, does that make sense? So that's it, nothing changed in our approach. Um, just said to you there what, what we need to be better at and make sure it doesn't happen again and this week's a good week for it because after this week we have all the midweek games again coming thick and fast where where it's difficult to get on the grass and really you know stretch and test test the lads and, and recreate situations so this will be a good week for us now. Was a challenge like this always likely to come when it's, it's a tight league isn't it and as, as consistently yeah, as you're getting the results? Thing is not getting beat. The abnormal thing is what Burnley are doing, do you know what I mean? To be, I say, if you look at the points over the season, we're doing great. Um, if you look at where we are in the position we're in right now, we're doing great. But we always want to be better, we'll always push for that. And, and I think that's important to give that 
when, when I'm speaking to players, certainly you guys, but certainly the players and, and the staff internal, like, we know what's, what's going off, and uh, we, but we have to be really focused and driven on the next game all the time. We, we can't get sidetracked by everything that's going off behind the scenes or away from the football. So it sort of makes it easier for us to just focus on, on the next game, on the preparation, on training hard, on preparing. And with the three changes, were there any injury concerns with the, with the three lads who came <coughs> to the bench, or was it just a case Only of you, you need to move them Only around? Only Illiman. Um, we were unsure till today, and today the, the, the medical guys were, were you know, uh, really sure that he, he must have took some contact on his thigh because he was stiff all over. He had a real tender spot on one of his thighs, so we were unsure because he couldn't remember any contact. We weren't sure if it was a strain or something, but he settled down really well all, uh, after 48 hours. and. They were confident then this morning that he'd be fit to be involved. Okay. Cheers, Paul. Cheers. Cheers.